These are the words of Howard Cooper, winner of this year's Leadership Award at the International Quality Awards. It's great to see leadership being recognised as a particular skill of quality, and that organisations are starting to respond to a different set of leadership behaviours from quality professionals. So in a sector like the nuclear and defence sector that I work in, the quality is quite important. We don't want to be getting that wrong with nuclear reactors and defence systems. So quality has always been understood to be absolutely essential in the outputs. I think what we're starting to see now is an appreciation that you can get more right first time and result in less cost and less rework and less waste if you focus on the inputs as well as the outputs. That's the big challenge for the nuclear and defence sector in the coming months and years, I think. I think quality is always going to need to be about the technical elements of quality control, of compliance, of demonstrated performance. But more and more it's about spotting risk and dealing with risk before it materialises. It's about identifying opportunities to innovate and taking products and services from very traditional industries, in my example, into a different way of delivery. So I think there's a very bright future for quality in the next years and decades in the nuclear and defence sector 